This is the one working rain barrel I have right now on the property. It's uh, on our greenhouse and it actually is fed by only one side or one, one half of the roof. And I uh, built it a long time ago. When I built it, I built it so that I could later extend it and the idea was to have more barrels here. Never have done that and frankly I probably never will because this barrel seems to stay almost always full. We, uh, we water our garden, which right now is kind of a weed garden, but we water our garden from it and um, I, I may put another barrel here one day, but for right now this seems to be, be doing everything we need. It's a very basic setup. Um, I have the little drown, downspout and I cut a hole in this barrel and I actually have a just a pot, a plastic pot with some uh, window screen over it. I mean just real basic, simplistic. And um, you know the water we get is, you know, I, you know, I'm not saying it's drinkable at all, but uh, it's very clean looking, and it does the job. Didn't take much work, and um, I think it is probably enough for this garden. If we hit an SHTF situation, uh, of course we'd probably be expanding the garden if that happened, and. Um, like I said, I have the ability to uh, extend it. Currently on hand, I have five more of these barrels. And I'm not going to lie, these barrels were intended to be a floating dock, and I really still want them to be that. But um, I think I'll buy more barrels for that and hold on to at least three of these for rain barrels. And... Uh, Probably not actually use them, probably just put them over here in, in the shade and put them up and they'll be rain barrels for if and when I need them. Also though, I better I better go ahead and buy the uh, hardware that it would take to turn these into rain barrels and make little kits. I think that's a good idea because uh, in an SHTF situation, I could stick them under a, um, well you want to get into the business? I could stick them under a gutter and collect water, but then it would be a real pain using the water. So I think I'll go ahead and build at least two or three kits for making complete rain barrels, similar to what you just saw over at the, uh, the garden area. So I've gotten in these Rain Pal brand threaded pieces five of them for I think 25 bucks and I was not able to get these to build these myself for any less than that and that's Amazon Prime and what's going to happen is this goes into the the uh, from the inside it'll go into the barrel and then I can thread on whatever piece I want whether it be a, a spigot or whatever so um, I'm very impressed with that so I now have my rain barrel set ready to go and I have all the tools on hand if I decide I need to put up to five more rain barrels out. 